Hello everyone, welcome back to Sekiro the Dark Souls Remake. On last episode, we fought Genichiro atop of the Ashina Tower. And uh, we found out that he is the rejuvenating waters. We also found out that we need to find the mortal blade, a flower, the, flag the flagrant flower, and a stone. Uh, and there are three main ways we can go. So, now you may be curious, which of the three ways are we going to go? Well, we're going to go down this way. This way will lead to uh, a boss and a ability we're going to need. So we have a lot to do, I guess. And the reason I'm going down this path is because I want to do this path first before I do the second path, and then lastly the third path. There's going to be a certain order I want to do these things just so that I can, well, make my life much, 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 much easier. So as you, we're going to come back here to Ashina Reservoir, as we have done multiple times before, especially with the spear-wielder dude. And what we're going to do is we're going to come over here. Now you have to actually do this. You actually... You cannot beat the game without actually going through these areas as, um, well, this is necessary. And we're going to talk to this guy. This is not necessary. You, you don't need to talk to this guy. I am for the lore, I guess. But in fact, I'm just going to skip his dialogue. Because what he's going to say is that, do you hear, do you hear somebody calling out to you? Basically, you know, just say, oh, I have not, you crazy bastard, and then you walk away. Now, come back down where we started the game. We see this guy. Hey, big man, what's up? So he's actually looking for us, but we're so cool we got out of there real quick. And uh, let me show you a little trick to dealing with this guy. So as of, like every other mini boss, because he wants to kill you, um, he's going to want to, well, kill you. And you can see his two health bars. Well, uh, look where we are in position compared to him. Yeah, you can get one free life bar off of him pretty easily just this way. And just like that, he becomes one of the enemies from, uh, a, well, Harada Estate when we, well, remember when we got the Mist Raven thing? Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is who that is. I'm pretty sure this is the type of enemy that was. But I also could just be wrong. Overall, pretty easy fight. Nothing too hard. Um, just get the drop attack and everything should be pretty A-OK. -okay. So there's that. Now, we can swim all the way over here. So we couldn't do this before, or we could. But we can't, we, we're, we weren't able to grapple up here before. So now that we are, well, we can get to the abandoned dungeon. Now, there's a lot of stuff here. And I'm actually going to be doing... All of the stuff here right now because we have a lot of stuff in all of the areas to get through and I feel like fighting just about every mini boss in the game and this just you know helps out I guess this guy once you talk to him up there he will come down here and this is the second time you'll see him um, there I believe there are three times you'll see him so I mean I'm not too worried about it and now we're gonna come over here and look very intently at that guy. Now, this is the guy I told... This is the guy I want you to actually have the um, anti-air death blow text. If you have this, you'll actually be able to take this guy on pretty easily. There are three mini-bosses that are like this guy, so you'll have some type of... Um, you'll understand why this will be useful, and then you could fight the other two. But the other two are much later in the game, and one of them you have to fight a certain mini-boss to even unlock. It's a whole thing. So, uh, I'm going to test my luck, but before I do that, I'm going to put on, I don't have it. So, this guy's going to give us a new type of, uh, sass effect. He's going to give us, uh, terrified. 
fear, I guess. I don't know what to call it. But when you're terrified, you die. You die. There is no, there is nothing other than you just die. So, uh, there's that, I guess. So, it's kind of scary. Uh, that's not what I wanted. I wanted this. Oh, they can all, I also forgot that these geckos could poison you. I should really stop forgetting about that, but, you know, that's just how that works. Can I? No. So, mid-air death blow. It's actually going to teach us how to do it right now. Um, this is going to be your lifesaver. So is this pillar, and I, I mean that. This pillar is going to be your lifesaver. You see that purple bar there? That's being terrified. Also, I don't know where this guy... I actually know where this guy is now. Uh, that's what uh, being terrified is. Um... So, I mean, that's fun, ain't it? You wanna jump? I guess you don't wanna jump. You wanna jump? You wanna jump again? But I... Love it when I don't remember actually how to do the midair thing. Really... Buttons my steez up, I guess. I mean... He's not too hard of a fight. He's just a little... Hold on. I'm gonna... Try to... Remember how to... Do this. Uh... I don't think... I don't think it should be in here. Yeah. Mid-air deflection. Mirror, there it is. So, R1 near an enemy. Near high up. I mean, it's literally just have him jump. And then... So, you wanna jump? I'm all down. I'm all... I'm down for you jumping. Alright, when he does that, he's gonna shoot at a big boy. Don't get hit by that big boy. It's gonna hurt a lot, and you don't wanna get hurt by it. Um, you can actually fight this guy normally with a bunch of, um... If you have, like, a bunch of divine powder, he's pretty, pretty easy, to say the least. Uh, and you won't really need to worry about him being too hard. Uh, right now, he's just, just heavily annoying, nothing too hard, and for some reason, I can't get the anti-air death blow on him. So, I mean, there's that. But I feel like, overall, he's not that bad. I don't know why I can't get the anti-death blow on him. Or the anti-air death blow. Sorry. Um... I, I literally actually have no idea. I would love to tell you why I'm not getting it. Like, it makes this fight so much easier, and I don't know why I'm not getting it. And after fighting this guy, I think this is my... Second... Yeah, second time fighting this guy. He's really not that bad. I thought he was really annoying because being terrified kind of sucks but once you know how to well, not be terrified, it well, becomes way easier. Okay, why? Okay, let me get the first strike, just like that. See, we did it. Fantastic. Then he disappears. Need to kind of look like look around a bit. There he is. And then he's gonna do a laser attack, and you're gonna get hit by it because you're so bad at this game that you get hit by things like that because you're bad. And he, then he's gonna. Then he's gonna do this attack that really sucks because it just does. Then he's gonna do another one of those things. Yeah, this second phase of the fight's kind of just annoying more than it is uh, difficult because he has more attacks and they're just not fun because look at this this is not a fun mechanic love the hell out of this game though just not a fun mechanic to have to deal with that if he does this just stand behind this pole that's really what this pole's for I, I like honest to god this is one of my best strategies for fighting this fight just pull it up dog You wanna maybe do a little bit of a jump? No, he doesn't. Dog, I'm waiting. You wanna do a jump? No. Uh, 
I no joke this fight took me like forever to do my original time so I'm like I'm both happy it's not taking me very long but also I'm a little annoyed that it's you know not taking me enough time like I should be beating this much faster especially because the anti-air death blow should work but it just isn't hold on see if you're ever in a pickle and you don't feel it when did I get it oh well I guess I had an extra healing gourd I just didn't know about I mean, hey, I'll take it. Uh, um, yeah, I'll take that just about any time. So, the Shini mean warrior, huh? I mean, I literally, like, I... This fight should take a lot... A lot shorter. I mean, literally, you can beat this fight in about two seconds if he jumps and you get the anti-air blow thing. Lit like, it, it will take just about two seconds. And I'm not even joking when I say that. So I'm just like, I don't know what's happening. Just just use Echo's power, get the the damage boost, and get in there, I guess. Because for some reason, it doesn't feel like cooperating. This is a, a very calm fight, let me say. I mean, it's not very hard once you know what you're doing, you know. I haven't died yet, which is always nice. And look at that. Boom. Didn't even do the anti air death blow at all. Who needs it? God damn it. That kind of sucks. By the way, I want you to feed him. You get the ceremonial uh, t Tanto. And what it does is it converts your vitality into spirit emblems. I won't be using it all that often. However, it is still good to show off so you guys know that that is an item you can get. So, there's that. You also get the pacifying agent. If you come over here, pacifying agents actually reverse um, any anything being terrified. So, it's really nice in fights like this. Here lies the vassals. Uh... I Hey big man. Oh, wait. This is here. Huh. So you're going to not know what I mean in a second. Hold on. Let me get up. It's actually the first time I've ever been grabbed by this guy. Um So we are actually if I think where we are if whatever if we're ever thinking yeah where we are is on the other side of the cave so you remember this area you must remember this area this is the ashina's uh ground entrance yeah this is there and i wasn't expecting to be over here was not expecting so that's cool Either way, we're actually going to head, I guess, in this general direction. We will go back to the shrine that was down there by the Senpai Warrior in a second. But I feel that while we're here, we might as well go and unlock the area that's attached to this area that's also important. This guy's not very important unless you unless you do his tasks. I don't feel he's all that great of a quest guy, so I'm not going to do him. But what you do is there are certain NPCs that we, I will... I'll show you which ones they are. And, um... What you do is you talk to them, and um, depending on a certain item you give one of them, they'll come down here. And if you give them a different item, then they'll go somewhere else. They're both pinwheels. Um, basically, it's nothing too crazy. And when I when I do see the guy, I will tell you who it is. But for now, it doesn't really matter. So this way is actually the other way that we, one of the other ways we could have gone. So we were going down one path and it actually connects to this path. Now, depending on what you did, you could, you might have not even unlocked that shrine and then there you have it. But in my case, I've already unlocked it, so I'm not too worried about it. Either way, uh, now that we're gonna be unlocking the second path already, and not going down it, but like, just kind of checking it out. I might as well, you know, show it off a bit, give a little explanation. So this is the path that will lead us to the Mortal Blade. 
And if you remember from last episode, that's in Senpao Temple. So, if you can put two and two together, you can probably tell yourself, Oh, we're going to be heading down to Senpao Temple. And you'd be very right, because that's exactly where we're heading. Senpao Temple. Now, this place is actually quite funny. Uh, when I originally went through it, I was very confused as to actually go through it. And when I got here, it was very early on. In fact, it was before I even fought Genichiro. Um, because you can do that. It was very, it was very odd. Because I was like, where do I go? But it's very beautiful. I find this place quite beautiful. I really do. But that's near here, that's here, that's near, near, nor here or there, that's what I meant to say, but I'm a stupid idiot. So, he wants you to talk to this. Basically, what he says is that the, the, the monks are very peaceful, and you really don't need to fight them, but you're welcome to fight them if you feel that that's necessary. That's more or less it. Now we're going to rest. We didn't really need to rest, but we're also going to travel back to the, um, the bottomless hole. Very comforting. Very, very comforting. So the bottomless hole is the one where it was attached to the warrior guy that we fought earlier. It's nothing too crazy. Overall, pretty cool. Nothing too crazy. It really, it really isn't all that bad. And I, I actually enjoy that little section because it really, when I went to it originally, it really tested my skill. And once you got the anti-air death blow, uh, when it works, it's fantastic. When it doesn't, well, you just have to fight the guy normally. Uh, and when you kill him, no one shows up in his place. Now, certain bosses, and not certain bosses, well, maybe. Do they? No. Certain mini-bosses. They just won't happen with bosses. But certain mini-bosses, when you actually um, defeat them, uh, an enemy will go in their place, or a boss, or a mini-boss will go in their place. Actually, that's false. There is one boss that that happens to, and we've technically already fought him, but we have to wait until much later before we get that, um, that thing. So, I mean, one of the bosses. Phew. I mean... There's really only, like, three to pick from, so, I mean, guess which one it is. Either one, either way, welcome to my least favorite area. Swampland. Yup. They put another swamp in these godforsaken games. So, welcome to Swamplandia. Now, you may be curious, oh, why do you hate this place? Uh, poison. But that's besides the point. The real reason why I hate this place is a mandatory mini-boss. Now you may be asking, what? I don't see a mandatory mini-boss. Where, where is he? Well, uh, you'll see in a godforsaken second. So how I deal with this area, this is just for your own safety. You come over here, you stab this guy in the back. Then you come over here, you hit this guy until you can stab him. Then, be careful when you do this, you sneak the hell up to this guy. You do not approach him any other manner. You sneaky, sneak, 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 and you stab him in the back, giving him one health bar. Then, what you do is you go on an all-out battle with the worst mini-boss in the game, and I mean this, the worst mini-boss in the game. Not because he's, like, annoying, just because he's just really difficult. And I mean this, he is hands down, the most difficult mini-boss in this game. Ow. Uh, so his whole thing is shooting you, as you can probably tell. Um, and there's actually many ways of fighting this guy. And I feel the best way to do it is uh, a poison technique, which um, I might show you here very soon. Because it's very fun to do, and it's just overall pretty cool. Uh, overall, this guy's just a... It's a box of... 
it really is just deflecting the game. I mean, that's Sekiro in a nutshell, but like, this isn't... This is one of those mini-bosses where it's just like, get lucky. So, now that he's dead, the worst mini-boss in the game, and I mean, I meant that, like, I actually meant that. I know that it didn't look like I meant it, but I actually did mean it. Like, he's actually, no joke, the worst thing to fight in this game. Uh, what you do is, you see this poison water? This poisons him. He may live in a poison area, but if you get him to stand in the poison water, well, he gets poisoned, and he can die to the poison. But you still need to deliver the final blow. Uh, so what you do is you just stand there. Now you may be curious, how do you get him to get into the poison water, and how do you just get him to stand there? Well, it's well actually quite simple. That's actually so simple that that's a, such a stupid question you'd ask. What you do is, again, very quite simple. First off, you pick up all these items because you want them all. Second off, what you do is you come over here. You come over to where the shrine is, the one that I picked up before I fought him. Now, I wouldn't even come this far, but you're welcome to come this far. Actually, yeah, come this far just to be safe. You stand here, and you have him walk towards you. He's going to walk towards you as soon as you start walking away. What you do is then you walk up here. You jump up here, and you watch. He will stand right in that poison area right there right in front of me and he will stand there or he'll walk around a bit but he's gonna stand there for the most part and get poisoned to death all you need to do it once he's get low enough low enough is to jump attack him go down there hit him hell hit him with a shuriken all of which will bring goodness to your heart really now we're gonna have this le now there are two ways to go here we have this way that I'm going now and the other way. The other way is the actually the mandatory way, and this way is the, uh, well, I want a secret item way. So if you come this way, um, you come out here, which is actually the main path, I'm pretty sure. But but you don't want to do that. You want to actually come up here. You want to come up here. If I can, there he is. Uh, you want to come up here. If you come up here, and I didn't know this until, like, my third play through the game, because I got, like all of the collectibles on my third play through the game because I'm lazy. You want to come up here, you can pick this item up, as one does. But the main reason is so you can get up here yeah, and get a prayer bead. Now, there are a lot of prayer beads I miss. I actually got the majority of them, but I missed, like, the real secretive ones. So, like, you don't want that to happen. You really don't because then you'll miss out and stuff. Um, but... You know, as long as you are smart about it, you shouldn't miss up uh, just about anything. So, welcome to this room. You see this room? This room is very important. We're actually going to be coming back here twice. This room, something will be in it once we beat a certain boss. If we come back, uh, that boss, well, we'll show up here, and I uh, will show that to you. And then once you beat that mini-boss of a boss, then another mini-boss shows up, which is actually another one of those Shinigan Warriors we fought earlier. Also, I forgot you were here. Hey. What's up? Hmm. I have not. Okay. Either way, um... He's... There's only one more place you can talk to him, and that's gonna be ahead. Now, I know we didn't fight any bosses, and I know we haven't done anything spectacular, but we did get to a new area. In fact, we got into a few new areas. So, I mean, I'm... I'm kind of happy with where we are. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. The next episode, we'll be heading through, uh, I think this is Mist Village. I believe that's what it's called. Hidden Forest. Hidden Forest, uh, and hopefully reaching the end of this area. I mean, I already know how long this area is. You don't, hopefully. You will definitely get to the end of the area. But uh, I think we also will have time to do other stuff uh, in this area. Because there's actually a lot of stuff here that I want to do. Like, you see all those items down there? Yeah. Um, there's a lot. I, there's a lot I want to do. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys then. Peace.